On Thanksgiving morning, I had a brunch at my house and one of the biggest hits was what I'm gonna make right now, this crock pot Christmas jam. Okay. And so it's so easy and it has like all of the, like makes your house smell good, has all the flavors that like you want for Christmas, okay. right? <laughs> so here's what you need. You need 24 ounces of fresh cranberries, 16 ounces of fresh strawberries, one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half teaspoon cloves, one quarter teaspoon ground ginger, and then two cups brown sugar. But here's what I've decided about recipes. If I don't like an ingredient, I used to use it anyway. I'm like, oh, surely it'll work out, and right. then I can taste it, and then I personally do not like cloves. Okay. So I leave that out. Yes. And the other thing is I love fresh ginger, but not ground, ground ginger. ginger. So okay. I'm also leaving that one out. But hey, if you love those, add those in. So do you substitute anything else? No, for what you're I, taking did, out? Okay. I did it, and it I turned didn't. out great. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you, if that's okay, cut off this top of the strawberries. Okay. So this goes in a crock pot. I'm using a clear dish right now just so we can see it. But. Okay, now I am not a chef, but this I, <laughs> this I can handle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. just get the tops off. My All cranberries right. came in two different bags because I had some left over and okay. then I buy some new ones to get, because it's like two bags of these small ones to get enough. Okay. So you're putting this in a crock pot. And anything in a crock pot, I am in because <laughs> it saves so much time, especially this time of year. I'm so busy. Absolutely. Putting stuff in a crock pot. Well, and if <laughs> you're entertaining or taking something to someone's house, like this is one of those recipes that can just work on its own. That Absolutely. You don't have to like be constantly watching. I would stir it once in a while, but basically you cook it on high for four hours. Okay. And that's it. And then you blend it up so that you like, you know, like I put it in the blender when I was done so that it was nice and smooth. Okay. And now, do so, you serve this hot or cold? Well, you can do both. Okay. So when I made it for brunch, I actually put it in the night before and let it, not overnight, but just like for four hours. And then I went ahead and put it in the blender and then okay. I put it, it back into my little crock pot and put it in the fridge. So that morning when I was cooking, I just took the little crock pot out, put it in the, you know, the actual heater part of the crock pot, turned it on and low to okay. let, let it warm back up. And that's all I did. Like, it was so easy. All right, I think and I could do this. It was a huge hit. So this is the two cups of brown sugar. Okay. And then the cinnamon. So basically, I mean, you just maybe stir it once in a while is about all you need to do to it. You're doing really well with this. I don't know if you've noticed. But I think you're becoming a chef. I, I mean, you said you weren't, but clearly you're really good at cutting strawberries. I am strawberry very good tops. at cutting strawberry tops. <laughs> and then all I do is put it on bread okay. afterwards. And I brought in. So, My family loves the Hawaiian bread. Okay. So let's try it because I have some You know what this would finished. be really great on is waffles. Oh my goodness. I know. And actually, leftover, it was really good on the turkey thir Thanksgiving Oh, evening okay. I had that. Do you want to grab the... Wouldn't have thought of that combo, but okay. Kelly, you did a, such a really good job Thank cutting you. those up. Thanks. Look at that. Okay. Let's open these. Do you like Hawaiian bread? I do. Here. I like all bread, you wanna, you really. You that out? <laughs> all bread. I'll go ahead and put the strawberries in. Okay. I mean, you can see that like this just takes no prep whatsoever. So I mean, what, you what might are we wash your berries, doing but. with it? We're just gonna have some on the bread? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna make you try it and see if you oh, okay. agree with my family that it's really good. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Do and you, this is cold or hot? Well, this one is room temperature. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> it was in my refrigerator. All right. I shouldn't be touching your bread. It's fine. My hands are clean. I just washed it. It's them. fine. We're friends. So, we're, but I touched basketball. We're all friends and. I touched the basketballs fine. after that. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Do you usually have someone get, put your jam on your bread for you? I don't, but that actually I really special, love this. I feel this like. A special treatment. Thank okay, you. Okay, there you go. Take a bite of that. Maybe okay. don't get it on your clothes. Though. Right. I'm just going to actually. I'm thinking cranberries is going to sound pretty good. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to try a little piece like this. <laughs> and we'll just sit here and watch you eat. Mm. So what do you think? It's good? It's so good. Yeah. Okay. I was expecting it to be really tart uh -huh. because of the cranberries, but it's actually not. It's super sweet. Well, and I think that the strawberries are kind of like an unexpected ingredient for a Christmas jam. Right. But it doesn't necessarily taste strawberry, but I think it takes away from that yeah. cranberry strong mm, taste bite. as well. Anyway. It's so really good. good. I love it. Yeah. I haven't put this in yet, so you I'm going to go ahead and do Christmas. that. You just saved Christmas. I think I saved Christmas, and you just became a chef. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, we just made a lot of progress. Lot. And it's really actually very simple. It's That's so simple. It's a simple recipe. Hey, thank you so much for coming in. Of course. I